Hi there everyone, welcome back to Danline Delphi Tutorials. This video is for grade 11 and 12 learners for the PAD Phase 2 as I'm going to show you how to use the DB Navigator and you need a database link to your program to make use of it. Since I'm going to make use of Addo tables and queries, we will need an Addo connection. So as always, you would need to add an Addo connection. So I'm just going to call it PAD. Uh, just because in this program, this is my Italy program that I'm using to show you guys, is there's another Addo connection there as well. So just an Addo connection. And I suggest that you don't call it Addo Pat. This is just an example. Give it a nice name that relates to your database. So as always, we need to go to the connection string. We click on the three dots, click on build. I'm just going to double click on that because I'm using a database and an older version of the database, the MDB, not the ACCDB. This just makes it easier for me to connect my database if it's in the older version. So I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to delete my path and that forward slash. You can test your connection as well. And under advanced, I'm going to click on read write. Not that I'm sure we actually need it because we're not going to make changes here, but you possibly could make changes making use of the same method. Then you click on OK and remember to turn off your login prompt set it to false in the object inspector. This is the database I'm reading from and as a suggestion I would use the primary key of my parent table for what I'm going to do next. So in this program, it would be my region. Uh, there's only one of each region in this table. I'm just adding a label there to say what I'm going to display now in my edit. This is not a normal edit. It's called a DB edit. So search in your tool palette there for DB edit and give it a nice name. I'm just going to call it region because that is what I am displaying or am, I'm, I'm going to display in here you will see that you need a data source and a data field for this DB edit, so we need to add that. But remember our data source can't link directly to our Addo connection, so therefore we would first add, I'm going to add an Addo table to my form, and I'm just going to call it Pat again, and we are going to select under connection, we are going to select that Addo connection that I created. Then you need your data source. I'm still just going to call it Pat. Later I'll have another one. I'll call it something else then. And that is going to select, be connected under the data set to this Addo table. So now I'm going to go to my edit. And in my edit, I'm going to select first the data source. So I'm going to select that one there. Oh, I forgot to do something. Remember in your Addo table, you need to select a name. Which table do you want to read from? Now I'm going to read from regions. So now when I go to my DB edit, I am going to search here for the data source. It's linked there. And then it will bring up all the fields that are in this table. So I'm going to select region. This will now be the field that I'm going to display in here. For your add a table, there it is. You have two options. In form activate, you can write code to set the active property to true, or you could just click on your add a table and select true next to active in the object inspector. So now when I run it, you are going to see the name there, but it's I can't get to the next one. So that's our next step. How do we get to the next one? Quite a useful tool in here in our tool palette is the DB Navigator. There we go. And um, I'm actually not going to even change its name. It would be important in, an, in your pad to change the name, yeah? You'll see there's a whole bunch of buttons there, but that we can change. I'm not going to use all of them. So in my object inspector, 
if you scroll down, you will see this visible property. Oh, I lost it. Visible buttons. So if you click on that arrow, you can select and deselect which ones you don't want to see. So I'm just going to unselect all of those. And I'm just going to have a forward, last, and first buttons on there. Your DB Navigator now needs to share the same data source as your DB Edit. So that is what you can select there. Currently, we only have one DSR. So we can select the data source there. And now I can run your program. And what will happen is you can click and you can see the region of each record. I can go to the last one. I can go to the first one. I can go forward and I can go back. But what we've done up to now is pretty useless. So what we want to do is we want to add a DB grid on this side. I'll just call it Pat again. I have some other tables here, DB grids as well. So I don't want to reuse that name. But again, don't use the name Pat. Use something more descriptive to your program. So what I want to do is I want to display in here, if I see regions, which is my, let's just go back to the database, the parents table. I want to see all the cities of that region in the DB grid. So I'm going to use, so we've used add our tables for this, but to display this, I'm going to use SQL. You could also use add our tables to display in the DB grid, but I'm just showing you a combination of the two. So remember to show anything in my DB grid, I need a data source. I don't want to link it to this data source because this data source links to the table uh, where the regions are. So I want to have this database link to my cities. And in order to do that, I need to add an add a query. That's where I'm going to place my uh, SQL statement. Give it a nice name and then click OK. I've just called mine query pat SQL, but yeah, you guys are going to give it a nice name. So this query can link to the same Addo connection. So under connection, I can just select that Addo connection. But what I need for it is I need a new data source. So I'm going to add a data source, call it Pat SQL. And remember, in your data source, you need to select your data set. So I'm going to link it to the query. And my DB grid is going to display from that data source, from this one, the new one that I created. The next step is you are going to double click on your DB Navigator to say when this is clicked, the following must happen. So I have entered the code already so you guys don't have to watch me type because your program will be different. Your DB edit, you first need to get input from your DB edit, and it works like a normal edit. So you're going to use .txt, I'm going to store it as a string, and then I'm going to write my SQL statement to say, select all from the tables. This is the, if we go back here, this is this table here, and I am going to say where the region, that's the field name, is equal to what is currently in my DB grid. And then remember to have a, oh, not a, the DB grid, in the DB edit. And then I'm going to have my dot open to run that SQL statement. So now when I run it, I actually have some functionality for the DB edit. And I can click next. And this would be all the cities, if you I scroll over a bit, from this region. Can't pronounce that, it's Italy. So as you go through, you can see that we're running a SQL statement in here that is showing the regions from the DB edit. And my navigation is pacing me through that parent table where there's only one of each region displaying in here. So here is the parent table's primary key. And this is my child table making use of this region in my way to show only those regions. I don't know if you noticed, but when I ran my program for the first time now, nothing is showing. So remember, if we want to add something, 
when the program starts, we need to add that in Form Activate. So you can do the following. You can add this code here that you have placed in your DB Navigator's OnClick event. So double clicking on that. You can copy all of that. Also, you'll need the variable. And you can copy all of that to Form Activate right at the bottom. I've just added it. You can also probably make sure that we are at the first item, so in my array of the first record to say dot first. It worked out for me, but who knows what you've done up here. So maybe if you want to make sure that it's the first one, you can add dot first. But all that code you can just copy in here. So when I run it, I'll see something at least when I'm on this page, and then it will change as I click it. I hope this helped you guys. I am still a little unsure about exactly what the 2022 grade 11 path involves, but it seems like this is something that they would like you to do. So please leave some comments and likes and let me know what you want to watch next. Thank you for joining. Hope to see you soon.